Well, people of the YouTube world, what is going on? Uh, welcome back to Parisian Outdoors. I will be your host, Caden Parisian. Uh, we are going ice fishing today. We are going, it's three, it's 3.11 on a Friday afternoon. It is gorgeous outside, it's bluebird day. It's a little windy, so I don't know how filming will be out there, but I'll have a GoPro on and I bought a new thing for my mic, so we'll get to try that out. But um, we are going fishing. We are going to be doing some rundowns, um, how we can make your trip to Lake Winnipeg and the surrounding areas in Manitoba that much more enjoyable. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch a fish, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we're gonna, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. interested in me and people that I respected uh, um, saying you know I like your work or whatever that is and and uh, I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever drive home and think well I do have these things and uh, they're out there I just don't have a hold of them yet but they're out there and I wrote myself a check for 10 million dollars for acting services rendered and I gave myself uh, five years or three years maybe and uh, and uh, I dated at Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was gonna make $10 million, dollars, dollars, dollars. Well, people of uh, YouTube, welcome back to Parisian Outdoors, we just made it out on the ice. Um, sorry for the wind audio, if it's a little bad, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try and keep, I'm gonna try and keep my voice nice and loud so you guys can hear me. I do have a wind muff on, I apologize. I'll figure that out soon. Hopefully the winds should die down within the next, uh, maybe half an hour, an hour or so. Uh, we just came out here for the evening bite. I just drilled a couple holes, as you saw. Um, not gonna be too focused on catching a fish, but I am gonna be focused on giving some knowledge to the people that are sitting on the couch watching this YouTube video right now, or wherever you may be watching this video, whether it's on your phone in class, or on your phone at work, or even on your laptop, wherever you're watching this. So, in that case, since I'm not really too keen on catching a fish, I'm gonna do something pretty goofy that I have done in this area a lot and have had lots of success doing it. I'm just gonna use a really stupid big bait. This is the 100 millimeter size, oh my God, if I can hold this right. That is the 100 millimeter size tantrum from Frostbite. It is exactly four inches and I mean if a big 37 inch walleye were to uh, counter this, I don't think he would deny it. So that's also the fun part of this, is that I'm basically singling out the bigger fish while doing something goofy. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna be focused more on mapping on Lake Winnipeg. I've been fishing this lake for a while. Uh, actually, I've been fishing this lake literally all of this winter season. I haven't been fishing much else, so I'm so sorry if the wind audio is bad, but this might all be scratched, I don't know. Let's get to it, people. Let's stop talking, it's like, four o'clock so yeah I gotta get some fish on the ice and I gotta get some words out of my mouth because I have to explain some facts you know what I'm saying no I don't think you know what I'm saying okay let's get to it can you hear me hello can you hear me you got it good well I don't know how this audio is gonna be but um, we're fishing we are located just outside of Winnipeg Beach you could probably see the tower behind wait no, there is nothing behind me besides the monster water body that we are fishing, Lake Winnipeg itself. Uh, I'm in between 
Sandy Hook and Winnipeg Beach on the west side of Lake Winnipeg. As you can see, there is like no snow cover behind me, which sucks because it's not really ideal to bring the machines out here, but it's the only mode of transportation I have to get out here. My hands are cold. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to showcase a fish to, uh, I don't know, showcase or to, oh, to prove to you guys that the mapping on Lake Winnipeg that I use is pretty accurate. Well, pretty, uh, you know, it helps you out a lot, which it does for me. Yeah, it does help me out a lot. I will say that. I have the Lawrence uh, Hook 5 with a the Angler's Edge mapping chip in it. So it's super cool to see all of these uh, highlighted depths all color coded, all suit to your preferences as well. Um, but yeah, you can really get a visual on what's underneath you without even drilling a hole, which is really neat. Lots of guys mount them to their quads and snowmobiles in many different ways. It depends what type of machine you have and you know what is applicable for that machine. So I just have a small ram mount mounted to the dash of my snowmobile, run a Lorenz power cable all the way through to the battery. I think it Besides the mapping, it cost me like 70 bucks to actually put a screen on here. So if you have a mapping chip of any sort, like Lawrence or Hummingbird or whatever that may be, you know, you could spend 60, 70 bucks. Well, it depends what you want. Any, I'd say probably anywhere from, you could go as cheap as 50 bucks to 100 bucks at the most uh, to mount your unit to your machine that you ride. Obviously, if you have a truck and you have, you know, a little Helix 5, in your hand, that's also awesome. Handheld GPS, those are just coordinates more so, but um, if you have, you know, a good friend that'll give you out his coordinates for fishing, by all means use that. But yeah, what I wanna focus on is more how easy it is to get mapping on a big water, water body, whoa. This big water body that we are on, Lake Winnipeg, uh, it's so easy to get. It is super, super easy to get. I will leave a link in the, I will leave a link in the description to, uh, okay, we're getting business talk. I will leave a link in the description so you guys can get leaded to this app, but it's called Avenza Maps. Uh, you can get it in the Apple Store, uh, the App Store, whatever. But it has Angler's Edge mapping maps on that mapping system. Basically that app is just maps, but you can get Angler's Edge mapping maps on your phone for free. It is ridiculous. I'll pop up a, I can't show you my phone, but I'll pop up like a little maybe screen recording on Lake Winnipeg where I am and uh, you know, just zooming in and out and see these details on this map. Of course, it's obviously not gonna be as detailed as the $300 unit that's sitting on my dash right now. Actually, never mind. Yeah, $300 plus the Lorentz unit on my dash right now on how easy it is to actually just have it in your hand while going out there and get in the depth of water that you want. Because lots of guys go out there and you know, oh, this should be a good spot. Drills a hole and hits bottom with their auger. You know, you're in two feet of water. You're like, well, I just drove like an hour and I found three feet of water. That's ridiculous, right? And that's the case with Lake Winnipeg. These uh, channels that come in from the South Basin, all the way back there, you can probably see the shoreline back there. Uh, that's where they enter from, is that this, lots of current gets swept up and builds up these sandbars that you don't know are there until you drill a hole and you find out, really. But yeah, having this mapping is so key to get to that depth of water that you want. And in the bottom left corner, or bottom right corner, depends what lake you have, uh, it'll show you how what the deepest is. I think the color coding's uh, red is the shallowest and like purple is the deepest. So you can obviously differentiate th the middle water column. Like, you know, if it's the lake's 30 feet deep and blue is in the middle of the column, like red's over here, purple's over here and blue's in the middle, you can obviously know that's 15 feet of water, which is a great depth to fish in for Lake Winnipeg. I'm fishing in 15 feet right now. So I mean, you know, these fish can be anywhere, but if you want to make small moves too, it's so easy to you know, pick up your phone and go, okay, yeah, I think this is around six to 10 feet of water. You go drill a hole and you know that you're not gonna be drilling on top of a shelf. You're gonna be drilling on, you know, with a little bit of water beneath you so you don't mess up your gear, really. And it's just simple as that. So I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna go check that out. That's basically all I have to talk about. Actually, no, I could talk about a little more. And if you know these patterns 
that the greenback walleye like where they go and everything and you know you hear guys going like yeah eight feet of water is good yeah 15 is good yeah go out to 20 right you can obviously tell where that is going to be you know you're not going to go too far you're not going to go too short and it's just that much easier it's changed my game of fishing from here to up here okay it really has ever since i got it on my phone i now started to wanting to invest to put it on my dash of my snowmobile i am marking this fish oh no i lost one oh no there's one on me too I think. Oh my God. There he is, come on. He is not scared of this giant tantrum, that's for sure. No! That would have been so cool! Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. I don't think it's very big. Eat it. Come on, come back. Here he comes. Oh, what's going on here? I got one. Well, folks, I got one. As you can, whoa. Ow, leg cramp. As you can see, with this Lake Winnipeg mapping, I targeted down this angry sauger with the deep V jig in his mouth. That's what my mapping did. That's what it did. And he goes to be a 30 incher. No, I'm joking. Probably, maybe, he, he won't last. Well, I don't know. But as you can see, the mapping works. The mapping doesn't catch you the fish, it gets you where the fish are. So, if you can take that to your advantage, you can have a very relaxed trip on Lake Winnipeg, as long as nothing breaks, because when I'm on Lake Winnipeg, almost everything breaks for me. So, that's the roll of dice, baby. People at home, let me tell you a secret. This time of day is the best time of day to catch yourself a master angler greenback walleye. Never mind, this is one of the best times of the day to catch a fish. If you look in the distance behind me, the sun is setting. Beautiful sunset here on the west side of Lake Winnipeg. Um, this might be a little bit of a boring video. Hopefully it's more informational than Sorry, hopefully this is more educational than, uh, you know, you know what I mean. I'm not catching very many fish, that's what I'm trying to say. Holy my nose is running. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is though, is if you're scared to get out on a big lake, like Lake Winnipeg, like I said, there is like a three foot tall ridge behind me that extends miles and miles north and south. If you're scared to get out, come and walk out. There's so many access points, you just have to do a little bit of research with Google mapping and asking around. Yeah, like if you wanna get out here, it's super easy. I'm in 15 feet of water. I've been marking a couple fish. Camera died and I was, I had a fish on for a little bit, but I think he was just holding on in the minnow. I think it was like a tiny sauger or whatever. But I'm not that far out. I think I'm about like a kilometer or two out. Like I'll do some actual measurements, but I'm not really that far out. And I'm in 15 feet of water. I'm marking a fish. And I think he has it, but I'm just gonna give it to him just a little bit more. Looks like a better fish. And we have one. It's not green. I lost him. <sighs> well, it wasn't green, it was a sauger. But, like I said, we're catching fish, we're having fun. Ah, why, ah, why? I just wanted to show you guys a fish. How is that so difficult? 
Fish, marking a fish. Fish. Marking one. I'm gonna catch it. I caught it. I got it on the ice. So, as you can see, the soccer is still very much lively. Oh yeah, beautiful. If you guys want any uh, sauger catching tips, please uh, personal message me. Bye bye. Well, that's kind of cool. These fish are not big at all, as you saw. I could feel that guy's heart beating. But um, yeah, that's probably all the talking I'm gonna do, so. Just fishing, fish catching now. Yeah.